Hey guys, Collegiate Gaming here, bringing you some more mech quests. Um, John Lewin. I'm sorry if I butchered the name. Um, he actually asked me a question. How did I get the missions tab on car? I actually followed the quest completely, where you so where you almost save everyone on her ship, and then after that, well, I got I got the missions tab. Well, I got Legos. I think I got Legos. Check and see if you have the Legos tab open. If you don't have the Legos tab open, you have to complete that storyline. Then you'll get the wormholes. And you, from the wormholes, you'll have to work from a yokai, then glider, then zargon. I've completed all three because I'm that awesome. There's also a very, very hard to spot back button here. Click that, and you don't have to go to any of those three if you don't want to. Um, and that's what I did. That's part of the reason I'm making this video right now. Another part is, well, it's a mech review. I didn't have the money to buy the mech at full level, so I'm just going to use the yokai trick really quickly. Um, first, what I'm going to do is not this. I'll turn the the mech. Let's show. Here we go. The Wandering Rage. This is the newest winter mech that just came out this, this Christmas. So we're gonna do we're gonna do that. Skip. You don't have to fight this battle if you don't want to. And actually while I'm at it, let me turn down the volume. Because I know it's I know it's high. I know it's high. It's always too high. Um turn down to ten. For no reason. You don't have to win this battle, you can just eject. You will get you will get that amazing level 35 miss that you have. And all you have to do, hometown. Spent no money whatsoever. Right? Not a star captain, just so you know. Now let's battle. Did a good old stuff review business. Um, I'm going to do two battles. One from all four, all four, all six attacks going straight down. And I'm going to do the attack that I prefer in order. So the ranger's blade. This blade has some high critical chance when you use it. And it's very... Like, most of his attacks are based off of something else. The Ranger's Blade, I know, is based off the Alpha Wolf. The Alpha Wolf's Lance. The Glive, I'm not quite sure what this is based off of, actually. And it doesn't show the effects up here, but it actually does cut a couple things. Let's check what it cuts. Um, no Stun Resistance and no Armor. Which is what it does. Frost Shard has a high chance of freezing, aka stunning their enemies. And there are two of them, so you can do it twice. Really, uh, really, really nice. Um, the Frigid Blast actually increases your damage and accuracy, I believe. Ac damage, accuracy, and defense. Does it increase defense? I'm not sure. Toasty Blaze. Wow, that's strong. Toasty Blaze does some good damage and has a chance of three different dots, HP dots, that do some real good damage. As you see, that was a good battle there. Now I'm going to show you what I like to do. And after, I'm going to show you the descriptions if you want them. Well, you're probably going to want them. So I'm I like to start with Frigid Blast. That's that's number one. You want to start with that. Heavy hitting and make all of your other attacks heavy hitting for a good while. Next, what you're going to want to do is Glive. Some would say, oh, go Toasty. I don't do Toasty. Toasty is more of a... Um, I mean, I like the dots on Toasty, but... Mm. I'll go toasty. I need the frost shards for last, personally. But see, you didn't get overwhelming fire damage. You did get blazing, but not overwhelming. Because the dots are randomly distributed. I'm not sure if you'll always get it done or not. Let's do Ranger's Blade. Good damage there. No good damage. You can like, shoot me in the face twice again. That's five times you shot me in the face. He missed before. Frost Shards probably can't kill him, but the dot will. And that's two battles. I'm going to do one more. Try a different strategy this time. Let's go for a stun. And then a blast. For as much damage as possible. And then we're going to go for another stun. Combined with the blade of heavy crits. Wow, I think it looks like it hurts. Um, let me go for the shard again. Oh, this is very similar to... 
I never even looked at it this way. Okay, I just discovered a new strategy with this, guys. On video. I didn't expect it to be able to... Okay. So basically what you can do is you can every other turn stun with this mech. You can every other turn stun. That's incredible. I'm going to do it again. Every other turn stun. Start. Boom. That's one stun, right? And then the blast. I have more damage, more armor, good, all that good stuff. Right? Oh, you sent me on fire for four damage. Congrats. Now see how that cooldown is too? Stun him again. Front shoulder this time. Hit him with that fire. Send me on fire, will you? Okay, have some fire of your own. Eat that. Oh, you missed. I stun again. And this, and note how I'm doing like insane damage. I'm just going to like probably one hit kill him right now. I'm going to take my time. Not going to work though. He dead here. Yeah. He dies too quickly. Wow, this mech is actually really good now. I discovered that. Okay. So, um, another mech, another very special and incredibly strong mech has that same ability to every other turn stun or E-O-T-S. How would, how would I say that ELTS? I'll just say ETS. Ever turn sun. I'll just say it like that. Yeah, ETS, another mech. Um, I had some mech. I'm probably going to be doing it a little bit. Not now. Not as of now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go through what each one says. It says this for the front arm. The Ranger's blade says this sharp blade will slice your throat's front arm clean off of its equipable or ha will have a large chance to crit if it's not. I have played equipable mechs. I have not seen the front arm cut off. In fact, I've rather seen more crit, so um, I'm not sure if that's input yet, but if you want me to, I'll check again later on. The glide says, this sharp glide will tear into your foe. It will lower defense and ammo res every each time it hits. Frost shard says, this frigid art of sh frigid shard of ice will nerf your foe's ammo res and then attempt to stun it. Meaning this kills immobility resistance and these two kill immobility resistance. So yeah, you have three moves out of six that can kill your immobility their immobility resistance. So it's really easy to stun with this one with this mech here. This toast blade, this is the head. They always put the head in front of the body. And so the head says, set your phone fire and keep him warm. We'll cause an HP dot effect with a chance for two additional dot effects. I'm guessing that means blazing fire is guaranteed, but you can have more. So it's not completely random. So it's a chance for two more, but you will have a guaranteed dot of blazing, I believe, blazing. And for Blast, it's the body attack. Unleash a wave of ice, increases damage, defense, and bonus to hit. That's really good. I didn't equip Tough Bodyguard, which increases power and reflex by 10 and 6 respectively. As you can see, I'm definitely not a Star Captain, having no Star Captain weapons whatsoever. I did have Nova Gems. I did not buy them. They gave them to me. And I went to the theater. You can all, if you watch the theater constantly, there's a small chance you can get Nova Gems from there. Anyways, that is the. Wandering Ranger, L, well, 35 in this case, since that's what I played it on. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, up down there, just do all that good YouTube stuff you guys know and you love to do. I will see you later, scholars. This is Collegiate Gaming, signing out.